Alright, what's going on guys? Super Hops here, and welcome to Super Mario World. So, for this series, um, I thought I'd rather try something new and, you know, kind of start a series where I basically go back to games that I played during my childhood and, you know, just have a good time, just vibe and kind of reminisce of, you know, the memories that I had with these types of games and, um, I wanted to start off with some game that I remember from like way early on in my childhood that I remember playing. This is one of my first Mario games that I remember playing and it was the Game Boy version. That was the one that I had. I had like a white, white with gray buttons, like Game Boy Advance and I used to play it on there and it was such a good time and um, just thought, yeah, might as well play the SNES version, just kind of go a little bit way more back and play how it originally was. Um, so as you can see, I don't have any save files, and we're just going to get right to it, man. I'm thinking of just doing the first couple of worlds, just so the video's not too long. Um, <laughs> we'll see how I do. We'll see how I do. So, welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In the strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. So, yeah. You know, nothing new, man. The prince is getting fucking kidnapped again, so, well, shit. Alright, so here we are on the first world. Oh my god, bro. The fucking memories. Dude. Dude, this, this is like major nostalgia now, too, for me. I used to love, like, running around and like little Naruto run that Mario does. <laughs> I just always thought it was kind of funny. Like, look at him. He's over here running like Naruto. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I think I do remember I had like 100% and I collected all of the Yoshi coins. Uh, you'll see in a second right here, uh, these like little Yoshi coins, if you collect all of them that are like scattered throughout the map, um, in each world, once you beat like the game, you have it so that the, the theme of the game turns like different, like the Koopa Troopas have like different heads and stuff, and I remember I unlocked that and I, I felt like so like complete, you know, I felt like nothing could get better than that. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, yeah. And another cool thing I remember is that you can, if you, if you kind of aim up, you can see that Mario kind of looks up, and then if you let go of the turtle shell, he kicks it up. Like if we're playing some like soccer or something, it's, it's just super dope. Oh damn, Firefly, let's go. Oh yeah, and then at the top you get like a, the extra item. So like, once you get hit, um, you go back to being little. Let's go! The extra item. Sheesh! Alright, now if I remember correctly, the path leads me to a special block. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the switch. And these switches give you like special items. Um, every time when you hit them, so... Right here we got a P-switch. Give me some, give me some coins. And get rich. Or die trying. No 50. Nice, and I got a 1-up too. Dubs. I'm already at 10 lives, look at me. See, it's like I never left. Bet, 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 bet. So once I hit the switch, there's gonna be a lot more yellow blocks around, um, pretty much all around the, the place. So we're gonna go back down here, we're gonna go on the right path, the right side. Uh, we're gonna do Yoshi's Island 2. This is one of my favorites. You grab the shell and then you, you get a one up. You hit that combo. No, I don't want that. I already got a firefly. And then, this is the first game to have Yoshi. I think. Because there was like an, another like Nintendo game with Yoshi in it, but, but I don't remember if, if this was it, but 
but I'm pretty sure it is. So this is one of the first uh, couple games that added Yoshi as like a new character. So little dinosaur that Mario rides around. You know, everybody knows who Yoshi is, man. Yoshi the goat. Yoshi the goat. I'm gonna ditch Yoshi for a second. I feel so bad. Yoshi lives matter. Yoshi gives birth to... <sighs> I didn't mean to do that. I actually did not mean to do that. I wanted to keep my fire flower, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna... It's not like I'm gonna... Be mad at Yoshi. I can't be mad at him. I need to go. And yeah, bro, I'm just speeding it through this, honestly. But there's probably people who could like speed run through this and like get it done in like 10 minutes or something something crazy like that but me i'm just i'm just vibing just reminiscing oh yeah dude i used to love this song I remember there was like a oh i almost did it i used to do the thing where you hop on the platforms you'd skip the whole platforms that are above no i'm gonna get it i want to get it i really want to get it Yo, let's go. I did it. I'm golden. I'm golden. Okay. No, I want it. I want it. Yes, sir. And what's cool is that Yoshi like kind of grabs enemies. And he can spit fire with the Koopa Troopas. And uh, each Koopa Troopa uh, that spawns like in each world, basically, like some of these maps, they all kind of do something different. They either spit them out or spit some fire. And it's just super dope. It's just a good time. Just speed running through it, man. Bam! There we go. I do remember taking uh, my Game Boy Advance out on road trips when I'd be out with my family. I'd always bring it with and I'd keep on playing, but the thing was is that it wasn't the Game Boy Advance with the light. So you'd have to like aim it at a certain angle so that you could see the screen. And it was such a struggle, man. <laughs> but it was kind of funny looking back. It's like, man, you had to do all this extra effort just to just to play a game on the Game Boy. That's how it always had been. With some extra points that Oh, dude, this one used to suck because they got the spikes up at the top. So I'm gonna hop off Yoshi. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit the button and I'm gonna use the star. Now I'm gonna get some of these spikes. Spike, dude, so I can get a one up. I'm already at 18 lives, dude. That's why by the end of the video, I'm gonna be at 99. <laughs> What's another world done with? Let's go, Love City. Now, my voice, uh, if it sounds a little bit different, I'm kind of been having a cold. I'm off today, so I'm just kind of like taking the time to kind of recover, um, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. I'm just chilling. Now on the castles, every time when you enter the castles, Yoshi doesn't come with you, so you have to like just kind of leave him behind. Um, but I do think that he does come back. I can't remember. I haven't played this game in years, but um, I think he comes back. I, th I do think he comes back. So now I'm gonna get that guy. Also, like, I don't know if it's just me, but whoever created this castle theme, bro, it, it just goes so hard, bro. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, the little platforms kind of can crush you. So I got to be careful. Just what I did is I just kind of like stayed in the back. Just kind of wait for these platforms to kind of show up.
Okay, but I did it all right. I did it all right. So it's like you have to kind of wait on the platform. Uh -oh. How am I gonna... How am I gonna die on my last... Like, at the beginning, bro. Okay, well, I still got him, but I lost all my items. I damn near died at the first ball boss, bro. Nah, that's messed up. I saved the Yoshi egg. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Bet, bet, bet. So that castle goes down, then we move on to world two. Dude, I always love this theme. Like, I don't know who was in the studio. Maybe I think they got Kanye, like, in the studio or something to make this beat, but like, it's so fire. No, I'm just All right, so we're gonna go to Donut Plains 1. And then this is actually the introduction of uh, another, another power up. Like super cape. Now with the super cape, it, it's just so fire, bro. So cool. So basically what you do is you get a running start. And then you start flying way up high. Okay, that was not intentional, but I did it. Okay, so I feel bad ditching Yoshi, but you know, Yoshi Yoshi would be alright. Yoshi would be alright. Pretty much skipping through all of this. Bro, I still got it. I still got it. So this is a secret that you're supposed to, like, technically, you're supposed to get to this secret area with, uh, with some time, like, getting into the game. But if you just kind of cheat your way with, uh, basically with this item, you can get to it early. But I kind of want to go through the, the map, how it was supposed to be, like, back then. So I'm not going to kind of, like, skip skip out on some stuff. I'm going to just go how, you know, it was intended to. The regular way, basically. Alright, so we're going to go this way. If I did take that key, I'd go into the water, into a water level. And then it'd take me to the boo house. I don't remember. Oh my god, yep. Now I remember these ones too. The auto scrolling maps, trash, trash. These levels sucked. I hated them. Cause like you can't you can't control the camera yourself. You have to like you have to just basically expect the worst because because you're not in control of the camera. I sound really stupid right now. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear with me. <laughs> I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. But, um, yeah, nothing I could really say good about these types of levels. I always hated them, so I'm going to just get through it. If I remember correctly, one of these pipes, I think it's that green one. I can't remember. Uh oh, okay. Yep. One of them leads me to a secret. Bed. There's like another power. Oh my god, I should have gotten that. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Fly up in the air. Oh. Oh yeah. Some more. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the Koopa shell. Get that. Fly up here. Leads to another uh, key, basically. But um, same thing. I don't think I'm. I'm just gonna go the original way. Like, let's say if you're playing a blind, um, just go through the original path. So I'm gonna not bother with that. I'm gonna just keep moving along. Keep moving along. Oh, and I got a bonus game? 
I used to be really good at these, but I don't know if I still got it. Let's see. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I almost had it, but I'll take it. Peace sign. Dub City. Yeah, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, oh, these spooky, man. These are a little scary, man. I used to get, like, little nightmares with these ones. These are the ghost houses. The music kind of scary, bro. They got those creepy-ass faces. And this is the scary part. Like, they can hurt you. But you can't hurt them. And if you stay, like, for too long, like, if you stay looking the other way, they come at you. But then they're shy. They get a little shy. So if you look at them, they're like, nah, I'm gonna stop. In, like, the newer games, they cover their face because they're a little shy. to throw you off you know you think that you're like in the same spot so if you you know go up here you cheat a little bit you kind of cheat go through that door and then and then bam it's the exit What's next? Donut Plains 3. Now this one, uh, same thing. You can just like kind of cheat your way out and fly. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually, you know, because it's, it's too easy. It's too easy. I could do it the normal way like how they wanted me to. I, I'm just, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Um, well, never mind. Got him. Oh damn, I can't go down there. Well, that sucks. It's whatever. It's whatever though. Just keep moving along. Damn it, I missed it. <coughs> nah, I got it though. I got it though. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm not dying. I'm not dying. Still not dead. Still not dead. Still alive. Get the checkpoint. Then I, okay. I was gonna say I got the checkpoint, so I get, get like big. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. I'll just keep on. Just keep on. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting this pipe. Missed the coin. That's alright. I'm sorry if I'm talking like a big game, but I'm just like joking, obviously. I suck at these, I, I suck at video games, but like, uh, I try to fake it till I make it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got, what we got here. Okay. The platforms. Oh! Yo, I forgot about that guy, so he throws hammers at you? You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Be careful. Oh my god. Excuse me, but sorry about that. Just got an email. Yo, I gotta one one up though. Gotta one up. No no no. You gotta be careful. Just don't die. Don't die. Okay, 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 okay. 
okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. No, bro. No, ho, ho. Damn, man. Keep, keep doing that. No, that's okay, it's okay. It's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna get it. 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 die at this point every time <sighs> now well, the one thing that's coming back into my memory is what happened to my Game Boy Advance so there was this um there was this girl that um me and my sister were friends with when we were little and we'd always she'd always come over and we'd play like games and stuff and uh, we play like the Game Boy, right? But what had happened was um, her her mom, I guess, had ended up her mom had ended up dying, and she was feeling down, you know, just like any kid would. I mean, that was her parent, her mom, and uh, she had ended up passing away. And um, I guess, you know, I was just thinking, I'm like, man, I feel bad. Like, even then, I mean, I was, like, what, eight, like, eight, seven years old, something like that, and I, I just said, I'm like, hey, um, if you want, I could just give you, I could give you my, um, my Game Boy, you know, since you like playing it so much, and she was like, really? So, um, I had ended up giving that girl my Game Boy. I don't know where she's at now. I, I haven't gotten in contact with her. I, I literally do not have any idea, but... But I ended up giving it to her because I felt bad. But um, maybe it was the right, you know, the right thing to do. I guess you know, so she liked it more, and um, I mean, it was just a little bit unfortunate, you know, that she lost her mom. And I guess my mentality was, you know, what I mean, if if it makes her happy, um, then I'll be happy. I guess. But you know, it was it was a messed up situation, so. Um, I guess I just did it out of, like, some care in the world, careness. So, yeah, that's, that's what ended up happening to the Game Boy Advance that I used to play this game on. So, oh no, I, did, oh, I got hit. But, but I guess it just comes to show that, you know, there's some people that go through tougher things than, you know, you are. And especially in your childhood, I mean, it's not fair. And... Um, yeah, sometimes you just gotta give others, um, something, some positivity. Alright, well, anyways, so, uh, enough of that serious talk, though. Let's just keep going. We'll do this one last- Ooh! <sighs> Bro, almost died. No, but I'm gonna keep doing this, uh, this, this last boss, and then I'm gonna call it a, call it a day for this video. Oh, I thought I was dead. I literally thought I was dead. Dude, and I have no mushroom. I'm not big. I don't have a fire flower. I don't have a cape or anything. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm tiny. I'm tiny as hell. It's scary. It's sketchy. You know what I mean? You don't ever want to go to the castle. Castle fights with, with no health. All right, all right. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he got. Okay, so I hit him, and then he's gonna climb up the wall. And you have to avoid him. Because he's going to go after you and then he's going to jump. So I hit him again. And he goes quicker this time. So I said, like, you got to be careful. Got him. Dude, and I did this all on low health. No, I'm just, dude, that's so funny. So that's that for roller two. Need to stretch. <coughs> So, Morton Cooper Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the underground vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become the Princess Toadstool? Oh yeah, they didn't, they didn't call her Peach back then. That's it for World 2. 
and then it leads us into the underground cave um at a hard beat too but uh yeah so i think i'm gonna leave it here but you guys get the point man this game this game was so fire back then and like to a little kid it was just everything it was just everything to me and i have so many good memories and i'm glad that i can come back to this game every now and then whenever i want to just to kind of reminisce um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video this new series kind of thing that i'm just like kind of making now um uh yeah that's pretty much all i got uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys take care peace out